Hey there, everyone. So, we've got the Gridiron Tournament this week, and this will be a pro video for that tournament. So, this is a couple different courses. So, let's set up the bags. Use bag two and bag three. Something like that. Um, and then hole number one is par five. So let's use Quasar for hole one and the quarterback. And the idea behind using quarterback is to just make sure that I can hit the fairway off the drive. That's really the the main thing. This hole should be a, pretty much a gimme eagle. But you don't want to get too cute and end up taking a birdie or anything like that. So, I'm going to go one ring per mile per hour of wind, and no curl. And I'm really just trying to get it out there about probably 310, 320, somewhere in there. So, that should be pretty good. Should make for a pretty easy second shot. So, I haven't seen all the wins for Pro yet, but I imagine 13 is going to be the target score. And then 14 is probably going to be a pretty good possibility as well. So, I'm going to set up right here, even with this bunker. And there's kind of a funnel. We can see everything kind of funnels towards the hole. Something like that. And I wasn't at max club, so I'll probably adjust 1.1 per ring. So, try seven rings. And see if we can get one to drop for us to start off the round. Bingo. So, with that funnel right there, um, yeah, with, with this wind angle, it's you pretty much have to miss perfect ball um, for that not to go in, I think. But yeah, it's really just all about finding that funnel. Um, if you have a side wind, you kind of have to put like a little bit of curl and stuff on it, but... I think this is literally the, the perfect wind angle for using that shot, so you shouldn't need any curl or anything like that. Oh, wow. Get in the hole. So, as you can see, there are albatrosses to be had on this hole. <laughs> So hole two, let's go with our extra mile bag, and let's see if we can use a katana. So 
So 6.6 .6 in wind. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up up here. And 6.6 .6 in wind is about three and a half rings. I'm going to go four rings. And then I go back to my eye. Ah. Oh, that didn't work. Ugh, that was a mess. So, it honestly may have been better to just stick with the Berserker Ball there. Um, I ended up having to rush that. But, as you can see, it's really easy to adjust with the Berserker Ball. I thought the Titan Ball would leave us at about the same location. It wasn't a good idea to switch to the Katana, though. Um, but, if you have excess Berserkers... Definitely go with that. Um, otherwise, um, Titan Ball should be should work pretty well there. Ah. want to forfeit, but I can't just give this guy an eagle, so. Ooh. Nasty putt there. Probably be better to, to roll off the green, honestly. So, definitely should be a hole that you can make an eagle on there. Um, realistically, all you need is, I think I used four and a half backspin. So, that's really all you need. And either Titan Ball or if you have excess Berserkers. I think that's probably the easiest way to go, since you don't even need any overpower or anything, so. Um. So this will be an interesting shot. I was hoping for the opposite wind direction, but... We can probably make this work as well. So the definite go-to shot here for me is going to be the rough bump. And so let's try setting it just above the hole. And let's try going one-to-one -one on the rings. So there's two and a half. And five more makes seven and a half. Uh oh. Oh. So 
So that didn't look too bad. Um, did get lucky to get away with hitting a great ball there. Um, but if you're going to make the hole in one, um, more than likely you're going to make it via the rough bump. It's far less likely that you, you make the hole in one with the straight shot. Um, just because you're hitting, you're landing on an uneven surface. So, it depends what you're comfortable with, but the rough bump's going to give you, it's the more risky shot, as you can see, but it's also going to give you the better chance of making the hole in one, so. So. Let's try a two right spin. Let's try a three right spin. And we're going to need quite a bit of overpower. So seven miles an hour of wind. It's going to be three and a half rings. Let's try this. And see if that's anywhere close. Oh. Missed by a couple inches. So, I think I went, what did I go? I think I went three right spin. Um, honestly, straight top spin is probably going to be pretty close. I like using that little bit of curl, so with a little bit of curl, the, the side spin is probably not necessary. Ooh, this could be bad. Nope. Pretty much the exact same shot we hit, so. Um, ending up in the rough right here. It should just come down to hitting perfect ball, so. Half, quarter. So. Right at quarter club. So 7 divided by 4 is 1.75, and play this at 2 per ring, so almost a ring. So hit perfect, and this should go in. And there we go. So this is definitely a hole that you want to experiment on, definitely, um, throughout the qualifying and opening rounds, and just kind of get fine-tuned as to what gives you the best chance to get two good bounces and over onto the green on the drive. Um, obviously, you can chip in from the rough every time, but it's far less likely to chip in from the rough as opposed to making a putt or chipping in from just off the green, so. Definitely something you'd like to, like to dial in a little bit if you can. So it looks like, should be good up to minus 10. Um, so let's go with the big dog. this hole, this is the 
this hole on hole 7 are very difficult holes, so I'm going to attempt to um, lay up on the drive right here. This is actually a really good wind for this hole, so should be a fairly easy eagle. Well, not easy, but easier due to the wind direction, so. So, good shot there. I believe I used two topspin on this shot. I believe. Go about six, uh, yeah, probably six rings. So three, three is six, and quite a bit of curl. And see if we can't find a good zone to, to lay this up in. It's not too bad. So, it should leave us with a pretty reasonable second shot. Can probably even bring Sniper with this wind and be alright, so. But you can see with the big dog, this is just pretty easy. So um, the shot is uphill, so I'm only going to adjust for about six miles an hour of wind. So I go three rings and just a little bit of curl just to make sure that I can avoid those trees. And there you see, pretty easy eagle. Um, nothing too special. You're not going to make the albatross in this hole without getting extremely lucky. Or having an apocalypse level 6 or so. To get you way down there on the tee shot. So. Um, eagle is all I'm really looking for on that hole, so. Let's see, let's go back to our sniper and our backbone. And I think we're probably kind of in between clubs on this hole. But we'll see. Okay, so if we use a Quasar one sniper range, which is what I prefer, so um, we'll set the ball guy up through the hole, and I'm gonna adjust for about mid numbers. So I go seven rings. So there's two and seven. A little bit of curl. Mm. So definitely need a little bit of tweaking there. Um, a little less backspin and a little more curl maybe. 
but an easy birdie there. Um, definitely not a high likelihood of making a hole in one here. So I'm not going to lose any sleep over making a birdie. Good shot there. So you can see how much curl he used, and he didn't have any side spin, so that, that amount of curl is probably pretty close to what I needed to use. So, um, hole seven. I'm gonna set up three bags for this hole. So quarterback sniper, extra mile sniper, and um, let's go quarterback, big dog. Seems like they're giving pretty friendly wins for this tournament, so I'm assuming we'll have a helping wind and Yeah. So this is still a really dangerous shot. So assuming he executes this, I'll, I'll go ahead and show the layup shot. Just to show you two different ways to play the hole. Um, the layup shot should give you a birdie every single time without fail. And this shot right here is going to give you a chance to make an eagle. It's a really good wind direction. And... Um, it really just comes down to, to honing in on the adjustments, so, let's go with this bag, let's go with the katana, okay, so we want to lay up right there. And I'm going to go with the full seven rings. And, oh, missed perfect ball by a mile. So right there, that should work just fine. And I think you'll probably need about two backspin for this shot. I think in Rookie I use like one, one and a half. And like I said, just kind of a matter of practice and repetition and kind of fine tuning that adjustment. And you give yourself a pretty good chance to make the the eagle on this hole. So, oh, really close try there. So, definitely gettable. Um, takes a really good execution on the drive for that to be possible, though. So, as you can see, about 
nine rings is full sniper. And gets me about to where I want to land. And I got six miles an hour of wind. So I'm going to use probably about three rings or so of overpower. And I'm going to go try four backspin. Should be pretty good. And like I said, just a little bit of overpower. Not too much, nothing crazy. And there's my nice, safe birdie. So, two good ways to play this hole. Um, to me, it really comes down to what clubs you have. If you have an extra mile, level six, um, I'm not sure I would feel comfortable going to the right because I think if you get great ball on the tee shot, I think you do end up in the rough with an extra mile six. But if you have an extra mile seven or eight, um, I think you should be fine to go to the right side or Thor's Hammer or Apocalypse. So any of those, you should be fine to go to the right um, extra mile six, is, if that's your best distance club. Um, for this tournament, it may be better to to lay up and take the easy birdie. So. So, realistically, not much of any spin there. And I'm going to go ahead and go the full six rings. Just to see how this goes. Wasn't quite six rings. But we'll see. Well, didn't even need that much, so. Can possibly move down to five rings and see how that does. Um, yeah. It's really what these tournaments have come down to now. Is it's all about fine-tuning and... figuring out what adjustment is needed to to get those one or two drops on the weekend round that you need to win these tournaments, so definitely a starting point there. I'll probably try probably try 1.2 per ring next and see how that goes. And just keep going from there. But as you can see, you had to do something pretty miraculous to not make a birdie there, so. Hole eight, and move on to hole nine, which should be a pretty easy eagle, I imagine. So we'll go back to our extra mile bag. Um, let's go ahead and use a Titan here. And the one thing to note on this hole is this hole is extremely downhill on the tee shot. Um, I'll probably add at least 30% extra on the wind. But as you can see, if you can execute a good tee shot, it's going to be a pitch and putt type of eagle. So, so like I said, add 30% extra. So that's going to be 8 miles an hour. 
So four rings. So I'm gonna shoot four. Somewhere. Go ahead and go right there. And hopefully that's enough. Yep. Yeah. Was actually a little too conservative, but really all that matters is that you make it over. Anywhere in the fairway is in in plenty of range to make it to the green in two, so. set this up like this I'm gonna purposely aim to the right of the hole just because it's really hard to end up right of the hole so um, and then I'll go five and a half rings So, easy eagle. Um, would have needed a little bit better drive to give myself a real chance at the albatross. But, happy to get the eagle there. And, I mean, that's that's a pretty good round right there, I'd say. I got the, the albatross on one and the eagle on four. So, I think that's, what, minus 15? So, definitely a good round there. Um, definitely, hopefully, some good shots for you guys to to start making your adjustments off of and getting dialed in towards the weekend round. So hopefully you found this helpful and uh, hope you guys have a good tournament.